Hello, my name is Nigel Pease and I'm here at Barnsley College looking at music production techniques using Pro Tools software. In this particular clip we're going to look at the difference between audio suite plugins and real-time plugins. So what we have on screen is a single track, it's a snare drum track. Uh, if we just have a listen to this before we do any processing. So there we have just the uh, direct mic of a snare drum part of a drum kit. So the first thing we're going to do is a real-time process with an EQ. So I'm going up to the insert section of the track and I'm going to insert a plugin and I'm choosing EQ3 7 band. Uh, for this demonstration just do a very simple EQ process. I'm going to switch in the high pass filter and turn it up there so we remove a lot of the low frequency content from the snare drum. And if we have a listen to that So what's, uh, what's actually happening there is uh, the audio is being processed by the plugin in real time. In other words, the audio is playing through the plugin and we're affecting what the audio sounds like as it plays, in much the same way as you do with a mixing desk or an outboard processor. How that differs from audio suite processing is audio suite is non-real time and requires the creation of a new audio region or piece of audio um, that is the processed version. So if we have a look at that, uh, under the audio suite menu you see a list of plugins there. Many of the plugins available are audio suite and real time. Um, some are not, but the, the one that we're going to choose, EQ3 7 band, has a, a real time and an audio suite version. So you can see they look very, very similar. All the EQ parameters themselves are the same for both plugins. Uh, the top section shows you the setup for uh, the uh, real time plugin or for the audio suite plugin. We don't go into that in this particular clip, but uh, the main thing to understand is that the real-time one will process the audio as it plays, the audio suite one will be non-real-time and require the creation of a new audio file. One of the nice things if you're using audio suite plugins that, are, that have a real-time equivalent is that you can copy and paste between the two. So if I just go up here and click copy settings, and then go on to the audio suite version and select paste settings then you can see I've pasted in that high pass filter setting from one plugin to another. Before we process with the audio suite one I'm just going to bypass the real time one so that we can't hear that working at the same time and we're now going to click the process tab on the audio suite uh, plugin and you can see there the audio has changed um, because we've actually processed a new piece of audio. If I just undo that for a second, you can see the original audio file or audio region was called snare. If I redo that process, you can see it's now called snare 7EQ to show that it's been processed by a 7-band EQ. Uh, so if we just have a quick listen to that. Okay, so there we are. One thing to bear in mind with audio suite processing is that it's non-destructive unless you choose to make it destructive. So we created a new 7-band EQ version of, of that snare drum, but we've not lost the original one. The original one would still be in the regions list for us to revert back to should we want to. Uh, so that, uh, that really is it, the uh, basic difference between real-time and audio suite plugins. <laughs>